This is a video showing you about a typical two light setup for the LED lights called switch lights within the college system. So let's dig into what we have in the box. The boxes have very good secure handles, so be aware of that. Undo a Velcro, then we can pull back here. And then we can open up to see what's inside the bag. As we said, this is a two light setup we've got today. And so we have one light in the front and we have one light in the back. And in the middle, we have the two light stands packed very carefully together. And in this compartment here, we have the necessary uh, leads to connect it all to the mains, all neatly kept together away from each other and packed in this bag very safely so they do not scratch or damage the uh, light stands or the actual lights as well. So we want to make sure this is all neat and tidy as we find it. Right, so I've taken out one of the switch lights and I can do either two things. I can either connect it to the mains with the cables in here or I can use one of our batteries. I'll show you the battery to start off with. This is one of the own switch batteries and you can check by pushing the button just there to see how much charge it's got and this one is fully charged. And as with our other LED lights, it has the same connection, a V just like that, which slots into the V here. So we literally just place it on top and then click it across and it locks into place. To remove it, you push the button in slightly come across and out it comes. Next let's do one of the uh, mains leads. So they come in a package like this. This one is the kettle lead which goes into a plug on a wall and this end here plugs in to the switch light just there. So first of all let's put the lead on here, the kettle lead, click it into place and then we take the switch cable and we plug it in where it has a slot and it says DC 11. We literally just click it in and it goes into place. Do not force it. It will only go in one way. You put it in carefully. When you are finished with it, you push in a retracting button on the top and out it comes. That's the retracting button just there. Okay, so we put it in, it has a guide it's into place. Very easy to do. Please do not force it because that means you're putting it in the wrong way. This is one of our light stands and I'm going to show you how to put it up safely and securely. It has three legs of course so we have to open them all out, spread them all out. We have a little screw just on the side there, unscrew that then push it down slightly. You put the legs out as far as they can go and make sure they're all stable then you screw the securing lock for the legs in place, then that's secure. Then you can then unscrew the lower one and raise the height up and then so and so forth. You can keep unscrewing and increasing the height. But the most important thing is that you make sure that the legs are secure. It gives you a very solid platform and make sure it's on level ground at all times. This is one of our more compact light stands. Slightly different and uh, you have to be aware of how to open it out. So let's go through that. All the three legs have to be pulled out slightly. You have to unscrew this screw here which secures the legs and then you can open the legs out. Again you open your legs out on the stands as far as they will go then you will lock it into place just as I'm doing now. Then I can increase the height of the stand to the amount I want. As always, make sure when you put your light stands that they are put onto level ground, otherwise they could tip over. So you have to make sure. And when you put them up, make sure that everybody's aware that these feet are all here and they have to step around them very carefully if they need to. They must be aware of them at all times. Once you have positioned your light stand in the correct place and that it is secure 
and on a level ground, you can then put your light on because you're ready to rock and roll. So we unscrew just here on the lights, push that down and then screw it up till it's tight. There you go. Now that is tight and secure and ready for me to start filming. So next I want to show you the uh, lights features and what we can do with it. To make it easier, I'm going to use one of our batteries, lock it into place, and to turn it on, I have the on off switch just here. Comes on, it tells me that it uh, has some battery power in there, um, almost full. It also shows me that the dimmer is at 50%, and just over here it shows me the color temperature. So this is the dimmer switch. As you can see at the moment, it's at 100% full power. And you can reduce it right down and down and down and down to the necessary amount that you want. It'll go all the way down to 1%, which zero is off completely. 1% is on a little bit, of course. And then of course I can increase it more and more. The color temperature, at the moment it's set for around about daylight outside, maybe a little bit cloudy. We can increase that all the way up to 6,500, which makes things a little bit colder, which would be the sort of bright sunlight almost. Now let's say we were setting up this light and we wanted to make it warmer. We adjust the color temperature and it will go down and down and down. And let's take it all the way to its lowest, 2,700 Kelvin. That is a very warm, color temperature, as I think you could probably see from my hand at the moment. So the goal would be to either decide you want to do a warm effect, or if you wanted to match the color temperature from this light to tungstens that perhaps you have in your kitchen or something like that where you're filming, you could use this and marry it up until they are about the same color temperature so that when you're filming, they will look identical as close as possible. When you've finished with the light stands, make sure you put down the extensions on the top, come to the screw, unscrew it, pull in the legs, they'll come in nice and easily, and then tighten the screw back up, then it can go away back into the box. This light stand, unscrew here, pull in the three legs, nice and easily, screw it back up. So packing it away, two lights, front and back, put all of the uh, cables in here. And if you are using batteries, I'd put the batteries down in here as well. And then put the two light stands in, one and two. Then make sure you close it all up safely and securely. Now you can carry it with the handles or with the strap. 